A rider, all in black. No, Mr. Baggins has gone away. Left this morning. Why did Baggins go? Why is none of my business, or yours? Where did Baggins go? That's no secret. He's walking to Buckleberry or some such place. Is this place far from here? Yes, quite a ways down the East Road. Never been so far myself. They're a strange lot in Buckley. Can you send a message? No, I can't give no message. Now, good night to you. Good evening, Master Gamji. Good evening to you, Fredo. A peculiar rider came asking after you. I don't wish to make his acquaintance. Nor me. Sent shivers up my back just to hear his hollow voice. Where's Sam? He was waiting for you. But that dreaded Pippin Toot came to collect him. Said they would meet you at Maggot's Farm. There's something about a shortcut. What are they up to? They didn't say. But Pippin seemed quite pleased with himself. And Sam was none too happy about it. He better not be up to mischief. Well, here's the bag end key for Lobelia. I guess I'll meet Sam at Maggot's farm. Good evening, Master Gamji. Master Gamji, good. I. What are they? Well. Hold on, Robin. Frodo, look out! Ah, <laughs> oh, Frodo. 
no. I am in your debt. If you hadn't come along, I'd be a midnight morsel for that beast. I'm glad you're all right, Robin. We've not seen wolves for a hundred years. So I hear. Well, it's an ill omen. What could it mean? That I'd better get going. What? Oh, <laughs> right you are, Frodo. And I should get back on patrol. Yes, but tell the other sheriffs to watch for more dangers in the Shire. Yes, of course. I'm still shaking from that beast, you know. I have to go, Robin. Dark Rider. I must stay hidden.
Bruno! There he is, the old sluggard. What kept you, cousin? Stop by the Green Dragon on your way out? Never mind why, but I can't stay. I have to leave right now for Cricolo. You mean Rivendell, and we're coming with you. You thought you were so clever, but our conspiracy outsmarted you. We know all about the Ring and the Dark Lord, so we're going to protect you. But how did you know? How could we not know, with you muttering, Will I ever see that valley again? You really have the Sackville Bagginses to thank. I was practicing sneaking up on Bilbo one day, when he heard Lotho calling after him. Bilbo put on the ring and vanished. We kept our eyes open after that. We spied on you and Gandalf. How? Well, through our chief conspirator. Until he got caught. And Gandalf did say, take those as you can trust. It seems I can't trust anyone. You can trust us to stick with you to the bitter end. We've kept your secret better than you did. But you can't trust us to let you face danger alone. Even though we're horribly afraid, we're coming with you. Or following after like hounds. Dogs! No, Sam. Hounds. Maggots, dogs! They're coming! Grip! Fang! Wolf! Come on, lads! They're an old maggot, too, by the sound of it. So much for stealing some mushrooms before we go. What's all this chatter at this hour of the night? Speak up! Good evening, Mr. Maggot! Well, if it isn't Peregrine Took. You're lucky I know you. I was about to set my dogs loose. The most outlandish fellow rode through here, asking strange questions. Here, who's that with you, Pippin? Well, you remember Mary Adduck Brandybuck. Allow me to introduce Samwise Gamgee and... Frodo Baggins! Uh... Good to see you again, sir. Baggins. Now, isn't that strangest of all? What do you think that stranger was asking about? He came riding up on a black horse in black cloak and hood, and he asked for Baggins. Oh, that would be a different Baggins. I told him all the Bagginses are in Hobbiton. He says Baggins is heading east on foot. And now Frodo Baggins shows up on my farm. The same Frodo Baggins who was one of the worst young rascals around, I might add. Frodo's much better behaved these days. Where are you headed? To my new home in Crick Hollow. I can see you're in trouble, Frodo. You should never have gotten mixed up with those strange Hobbiton folk. I wager that outlander has come for the gold Bilbo brought back from foreign parts. Well... I think it's time we were going. No, he'll be waiting. You ride out in my wagon, hidden from sight. Thank you, sir. It's a pity I've been in terror of your dogs. I've missed a good friend. Indeed. Shall we go now? I'll ready the wagon. Farmer Maggot's wagon carried us safely away from his farm and into the borders of Buckland. But the black rider was still thundering along the east road. We decided to go south and cut through the old forest. Mary had been in the old forest and knew a little of its ways. It's a dark, mysterious place, but not as dangerous as a black rider.